81. This is a memorable, a memorable day for many Cameroonians, for football, football fans, especially the Cameroonian football fans all through Africa and the world at large. Today is a really great day. If you go to the uh, the, the Palais de Congrès, the Congress Hall in Yaoundé, you will notice that everything is set for this evening. Everybody, all the eyes are all tilted towards Yaoundé because this evening is going to be really hot. 7 p.m. on the dot, you have that French uh, French time uh, time in France is 8 p.m. for you to be tuned to watch. Uh, the draws for the 2021 AFCON to hold in January 2022. I hope that you keep this day to keep it in memory. Uh, there are so many persons that are already in the country for this event. A number of players, a number of former players of different African countries that are present in the country to bring us this particular day, this special day in Cameroon in the African continent. If you have the opportunity, why not sit in front of your TV and watch? And all there's no way that you get into that hall easily. Considering the context in which we are in the coronavirus, not so many people be admitted into the uh, Congress Hall in Yaoundé. So what you do is that you just stay tuned to your TV and watch these draws. And uh, I know that the, the heads have already been made. So now people are wondering what teams will be with Cameroon. Don't bother. We will discover that this evening, especially those who are supporters of Cameroon, we are together. Just know we are one in the heart of the city this afternoon, uh, dear televiewers. Welcome once again to this edition. And we will give you just the best today because today's a special day. So we want to share the specialness. In fact, this day as a special, we want to share with, with you. The girls are present this afternoon for the program this afternoon. And I know that they are equally expecting something from Yaoundé this afternoon. Let's find out from them this afternoon. Miss B or Lady B is at the other side. Oh, I was thinking of Miss B. Let me start with Miss B or Lady B. Lady, good afternoon to you. Uh, aren't you expecting so much from Yaoundé today? <laughs> Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. All right. Uh, good afternoon to our television. Something from Yaoundé. No, uh, let me not start this. <laughs> okay. Me, uh, but, but, but they have my full support. You have your full support. Yes. Oh, aren't you scared I come on my fall uh, in a, a pool that they have people that are, you know, they are teams that are stronger in what has to do with football? Yes, when it comes to home advantage. Okay. <laughs> No, and that's what you take it to be. Home advantage, of course. So I just come around on that. Anyway, let's just, you know, uh, we wish the best for whoever can fight hard. Okay. And take back, you know, every glory or trophy yeah, well, I thought you would to say that you should stay back with us here. No, it's an African thing. When Sometimes when you're too selfish, that's mm. when you have nothing. Okay. It's an African thing. Whoever fights well and you see that this person has really fought, you are you're entitled to the trophy. Okay. Yeah, so it's for you, you know, giving, you know, the best of, you know, when you prepare for something, you prepare very well. So it's often said that, you know, uh, all that, you know, ends well, started well. And so, and so if they have been preparing well, they are fit to challenge, they are fine. Anybody from the Africa, except you're not from Africa, because it's an African thing, that's mm -hmm. all have a problem. Anybody is entitled to eat. But that, does, that doesn't mean I am not with, you know, doing right here. Come, oh, Betty says she is in full force with green, red, yellow. She's a football fan, a fan of Cameroon. Please, let me just precise that. She's not a fan of any other country. Cameroon only. So she is uh, a daughter of the soil. So she's patriotic in whatever has to do with boy. And she expects a lot. She tells herself that whatever comes out there, you just have to share. You know, we mustn't stay in Cameroon. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss B. Oh, Lady B, I turn over to Mariko. Marie, good afternoon. Are you a fan of football? No, this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but when Cameroon plays, you do support, right? Yeah, somehow. Uh -uh. Yeah, because they've always given one high blood, so <laughs> I'm not going to be <laughs> this, this is really they've serious. Given one high blood. So, and what about the times of glory? <laughs> uh, when they used to bring up. It's been when they make it, I just join and say that. Oh, Thank God they surprised me this time. Okay, right. you surprised. So, <laughs> so you just be like, no, anything. Yeah. That's all comes as all. Absolutely. The days of glory uh, are far away. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, they are far past in my memory. 
remember. But we have 2017, just a few years back. Where How many glories were registered there? 2017, we, bring, we brought out the cop to Cameroon. That was a plane in Gabon. Oh, sorry. What's 2002? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to take 2002. It's far. So I want to take 2017. That is very near. It's closer. In fact, let me tell you, I'm not, I'm not uh, an anti-citizen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say that I always just support when I hear that they've scored the first goal. Okay. Then I start supporting them. Yeah. In fact, I tune to the TV and I start watching. watching. But just to avoid the high blood, I'm always watching elsewhere. In fact, I'm watching something else mm -hmm. while I'm hearing the, the shout mm. of others so that it guides me on what exactly is <laughs> going happening. on. Yes, because naturally, you always hear noises. Mm -hmm. Yes, you always hear noises. Even when they, they miss a goal, you mm. hear noises. People will shout like, in fact, that goal was already almost I, You're not tempted to turn and want to see. It's when they score. Mm -hmm. In fact, the shouts of the score are different okay from the miss <laughs> okay because the miss the miss shouts it always sounds like oh, oh yeah <laughs> kind of so uh, it, they, when it's scored mm -hmm. you know it mm. they start giving all the showering and all of that but when they miss it and all they even the match ends on um, <laughs> on vanquish mm -hmm. of, uh, naturally i know cameroonians uh, my spirit is just the same way i know many things mm -hmm. that they are always very up and doing when mm -hmm. it's successful yes but when it's failure, they are not able to follow them up because to them, they think that they, they have the capacity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they should do it. But unfortunately, we were seated, we always sound like we can play football better than, than someone in the field. Because you're just like, see that small boy, you could not just call. But meanwhile, if you are put in front of that, you surely do, you surely leave, hit your leg on a stone rather than the football. Uh, good afternoon, Sonsia. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mariko. Thank you. Good afternoon to you, Miss B. Thank you. And to all the viewers, good afternoon to you too. Uh, Sonsia B, I wanted to talk on something. Okay, well, let's go away from football. football. Uh, okay. I want to talk about something uh, that concerns uh, how to live with people, how to live with each other. Mm -hmm. It's like if you can accommodate people around you, then know that you can accommodate even your own self mm. because they always tell us that generally you love yourself it's easier for you to love those who are around you mm -hmm. if you you hate yourself it's the same thing you're going to project out mm -hmm. to people yes yeah. so uh, normally if you show so much pampering and love for yourself mm -hmm. it will be the same way you do it out there with people mm -hmm. now unfortunately sometimes when you're mm -hmm. nice some people take it for weakness that's true they take it for a weakness and uh, it's so heartbreaking for me sometimes to imagine that because it pushes people to look very unreal. Because when you are real, people would think that probably you are doing this because you want to get something mm -hmm. in return. And when you are not real, everyone would criticize you. So what I just want to say this afternoon is that just learn how to be you rather than try to be like anybody in the society. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true we always have models in the society. We have to look for models. Our models most of the times are our parents because they're the first people we grew up seeing Same. Yes, before true. seeing any other person. Now when we've moved out of that context, we can now have models in profession, mm -hmm. models in maybe uh, domains, particular domains, marriage and all of that. But uh, all the same, I what I have to just say is that we have to be us. We have to be us. Uh, I I really have it really difficult when I find people who are not real around. Because when you're not real, it means that you'll be playing that cat like that everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere you go. Yes. You and know, you, one light to another, you, one light to another. Yes, you keep, in fact, you keep showing a face that is not yours. And you pick up things here and you go drop there. And sometimes it could be a bomb that you carry from A to B. And then it goes explodes in, some, in B's hands. And because you're not real... You don't speak the truth because when you are not real, you're a liar. Mm -hmm. You can't be real when you speak the truth. You it's difficult be to be real and mm -hmm. speaking the truth. That's real, unreal. I mean, exactly. Okay. So what I had to add this afternoon is just that if you can learn how to just be us, just be us as in, I've not said you should be somebody else. Just be who you are mm -hmm. and see. I like the song that we're proud of who we are. If you are proud of who you are, you will not want to be like any other person. So if you are black, that is black race, mm -hmm. you will not be proud to be a white race because mm -hmm. the white race is already sufficiently proud of who he is. So why would you be threatening to be like them? Rather, what I, 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 I appreciate about 
looking at each other and picking is that I pick out the good things in someone. I copy the good things in someone mm -hmm. and then I refine it in my own way so that it's your own version of you. Not that if I'm, for example, listening to a voice mm -hmm. on radio, okay, for example, this is our context. I'm listening to someone on radio and their voice is exactly like the voice of another um, uh, of another TV or radio, sorry, radio mm -hmm. presenter. Mm -hmm. That means you pick the person word for word. It's a, it could be a coincidence, mm -hmm. but some people take off their time, forget who they are. Mm -hmm. They just remove their real them, throw them, throw it away, and then they now start copying somebody somewhere. And when you are that way, you are not you. Mm -hmm. Because when you're talking on, on air, everyone thinks that this is this person. Meanwhile, that's not you. Who tells you the real you isn't a better version? Person. So that's what I wanted to share this afternoon. But what can really push somebody to want to be uh, somebody else? Is there anything that you gain out of it? Mm, well, I would want to, to rather answer the question, the other question, mm. if you permit me, on what would push one mm. to be that way. I think uh, some way it's complex. Okay. Yeah, some way it's a lack of confidence. Confidence. Yes, you don't know who you are really, and then you lack confidence in yourself. So you think that others are better. And you think that you should be like others. Meanwhile, those others, if you get into their minds, you see that they are not even feeling com that mm. comfortable mm. with who they are. They are struggling to be something better. That's a refined version of them. Mm -hmm. Then the other one you said, what do they gain? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe self-satisfaction. I don't know. Things I, I can't tell because I've really... I've never really liked to, to pick somebody mm. exactly the way the person is. I can copy the good aspects and I modify them and make them better uh, for myself. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I will not take the person like word for word, gesture for gesture. It becomes that's another version uh, yeah, of that person. person. Yes. yes, that means it's another person, but it's a photocopy exactly. of the person. Exactly. So thank you very much, Marco. It yes. should that most people like to portray. Uh, another person to others. There are so many people that you always want to copy others. Mm -hmm. You don't want to show the real you. I wonder, I was asking Marika, what do you get out of that? And it's a really pertinent problem here. The youth, most, most people want to copy. Like, since this person dresses this way, I want to dress exactly the same way like this person dresses. You don't know what it implicates by dressing the same way with this person. You don't even know their means, mm -hmm. their source of income. Exactly. You don't know where they are coming from, so... Sometimes you just copy and just go and fall in a hole, mm. in a pit. Because generally when you copy poorly, you it's 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 visible. Mm -hmm. But when you copy constructively, people would rather admire it. That's true. Mm -hmm. When you copy constructively, mm -hmm. America said you can copy some things, but try to modify it your own way to suit you. Mm -hmm. That means you don't copy everything. That means word for word. Uh, uh, each letter you copy and you want to absolutely portray it on yourself. Thank you, Marika, for bringing no, that can. up Thank because you. so many people uh, want to say, I want to be exactly like this person. Mm -hmm. And you, you are agree to do anything to be like this person. I will talk particularly to those who like to change their colors want to imitate dressing, change their voices, change everything about them. You portray an image that is not you. And Mariko said, the next thing that will happen is that you will get into lies. You live a, lie, a world of lies because there's no way that you speak the truth. Because the person that they see in front, that's not exactly the real person. So thank you, Mariko, for that. Thank you, Miss B, for a wonderful intro this You're afternoon. Welcome. This very special day of the draws for the 2021 African Cup of Nations. You know, Miss B is loving when I'm saying the African Cup. Yeah, it's, it's home. <laughs> yeah, it's at home. It's in Cameroon, okay? For those who are in Yaoundé, uh, if you could, if there was a way you could, there's no way. In fact, just watch your TV. <laughs> you can just watch your TV, okay? You can just get yourself. Oh, sorry, Miss B. <laughs> I think you want to say something. <laughs> okay, okay, we will get straight into our program. Binda was there, and that's why I was saying, okay, Binda, you ride on. Okay, I was okay. Let's go, let's leave football and go to into our program, rightly. Okay, uh, a question of today is displayed there Can a woman ever be happy sharing a man with another woman? And vice versa, because I know some men will say, can a man be happy sharing someone with another man? 
that's the question for this woman this afternoon we know i like the question today <laughs> we have we talk of polygamy and some countries have promoted polyandry it's true so that will be our question the business will con continue with oranges remember we started oranges yesterday we'll continue with that uh kitchen miss beauty for us black soup and fufu that is found in kukuyam and black soup people will continue with black soup yeah because we really did not get the images yesterday. yes we'll go and we will do it over today for those who are dis going to be discovering it from the very 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 first time we will show you the images so that you don't get lost when we talk about black soup and of course we do health hoarseness that is loss of voice like what i'm having you see that yesterday and today my voice has changed you know before the end of the week my voice must have come back already i'm using my recourse therapy so <laughs> why not join me today i'm waiting for champagne okay for champagne yeah. i thought raw, you said raw corn. no champagne <laughs> <laughs> raw corn <laughs> you eat raw maize and you eat you take warm water that's simple. We'll talk about that in our health page this afternoon. Uh, we are exactly uh, five minutes to three o'clock. We will start with our question this afternoon before we get to all slots of our program. So, Marie Call, can a woman ever be happy sharing a man with another woman? Let's start that way before we go to the other and vice versa. As a woman. <laughs> No. Uh, as a woman, no. Mm -hmm. As a woman, no. Why? But poly polygamy is, is promoted. It's something that is allowed in most African countries. Thank God it's allowed, but it's not obligatory. So when you've chosen to go in, it means that it's not obligatory for mm -hmm. you. It means you like it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't like it, it means you will never get into that. Mm -hmm. You will never want it to be near mm -hmm. you in any, in any case. Because sharing... That domain <coughs> particularly, honestly. You can share every other thing, but not share your mind. It's not corn, exactly. It's not groundnuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a human being we're talking yes. about. Yeah. So imagine that you have to be sharing that person with another person, consciously or unconsciously, as a woman. No, I don't like it. You don't like it. Mm. But in America, there are men who come and say, uh, I want monogamy. Mm. You know, I want us to be monogamy. Mm. But they do do their things outside there. All right, that one is unofficial. Mm -hmm. I'll begin from there. That mm -hmm. one is unofficial. He said monogamy. He signed the monogamy. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Mm -hmm. I signed to monogamy. We are living together under our roof. We are two of us. Mm -hmm. On our bed, we are two of us. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we go in the family, they know just me mm -hmm. as his wife. wife. Now, the other one is in the dark. Okay. Yes, that one is unofficial. And I might not know about that one. If I don't, I'm not, so long as I'm not aware of that one. Life goes simply, simply. simply. Mm -hmm. But a man will tell you that there are so many women outside there, and I want uh, want to help. <laughs> you know, that's help in quotes. <laughs> I don't know if it's World Health Organization <laughs> or United Nations coming for rescue <laughs> to women. I don't know. But if he wants to help, then seriously, let him not even get married because mm -hmm. he should just stop get not married and just help all the women out mm -hmm. there and never be legal mm -hmm. because. The truth is that once you're already getting into a legal context, mm. if you've already chosen a matrimony, what matrimony are you choosing? That's what regime mm. are you cho choosing? Once you've chosen it, that's polygamy. <coughs> mm -hmm. It means that you've opened the door for other women to come in. Mm. There, the woman has no right to complain if this man ever brings in any mm. other. Now, when it's monogamous, and then you are out there helping, yeah, honestly, you have to come and separate. I'm, I'm just using your expression <laughs> because you said some men want to help. Yes, they say, no, that's just I'm separate. using their words. Mm. You know, they say they want to help. Yes, since they are the World Health Organization, like I said <laughs> earlier, they should disconnect officially from <clears throat> the, the legal wife. Mm -hmm. And then they now go into uh, charity because now it's charity since they want to help. Let them sit somewhere and say, okay, my role in this world now is to help ladies. I, by making them not to be single. Mm -hmm. So there it's official. In fact, there's Santia B, I wouldn't lie to you that it's better to be that way. Yes. That's to be an honest person who is in the wrong domain, but he's honest to mm -hmm. say that, than to say, I am married, I am into something, but you are walking out there and helping others. Yes, like you said, I'm using your expression. Now, okay. the other side is that uh, Santia B, sharing a man and a woman, a, a woman, a man with another mm. woman, it, it implicates a lot. A lot of things. Yes, it implicates a lot. You, the lady on the other side, you might just be 
very ignorant and mm -hmm. innocent and mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what the other person on the other side is doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why I'm talking about the sharing the now. Yes. yes, where the lady is even aware mm -hmm. that there is a sharing taking mm -hmm. place. Now you run the risk of catching a sexually transmitted disease. Mm -hmm. You the woman. Yes, there's so many. You run the risk of being manipulated spiritually. Yeah. Because there is an objective which is in between you the ladies. I don't know the, the number of ladies. Yes. yes. The man stands like the goal mm. and everyone is forging and fighting towards it. It's just like a scramble for Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's like scramble for that human being. Mm -hmm. Now, as you're scrambling, everyone wants to impress. Mm -hmm. Impress, the, yes. And why you're impressing? Two le moyens on bon, like we say in French. Which you have to enter? Everything you can name them. The list is long, Santiago. So someone who is there and is telling themselves, okay, I'm just honest, ignorant. Some people who have never even grown up in that kind of context will mm -hmm. be obliged to mm -hmm. get there because the fight is rude. Mm -hmm. It's a scramble. So because it's a scramble, you have to put in your own efforts, extra efforts, mm -hmm. because sometimes maybe your own natural effort is not enough. So you need to put in extra effort. Now, on the other hand, there are some people who grow up in polygamous mm -hmm. homes. So it's really nothing to them. to them. Yes, they leave it like, okay. That's, they don't have any issues because they grew up in it mm -hmm. they were groomed in it so they accept and they know that the man the moment the man is with me he's, he's mine, mine. <laughs> the moment he's no longer with me i consider that mm -hmm. i'm no longer in marriage for mm -hmm. that while and while he's you are not in marriage what's she doing that's the question mm -hmm. because sometimes some people accept um to share but it's hypocritical mm -hmm. because you say i'm sharing the man with another woman that's in polygamy mm -hmm. but they have their side guys. Yes, yeah, they have their who side. Who is guys. helping them? Especially to take men care that have them. a lot of women. Absolutely. Like uh, I don't want to. I don't <laughs> have any problem with with, with chiefs or mm, funds. Yeah. Absolutely, because I can go somewhere where maybe these funds start looking at me like what she's saying. Mm. But I'll just say my point of view. Like in fund dumps, mm -hmm. they, they can be more than fifty. Fifty. Yes. Exactly. Just imagine. There are some ladies that go. I listen to one queen. Because they call them queens. Mm -hmm. Yes, I listened to one queen mm -hmm. talk. And what she told us personally is that you can go for months without ever seeing your your man. Your Who married. is the phone? No, you're married. Okay. So, you can imagine all what it goes with that. And we asked her, then what are you doing with all the time? She said, like, what she decided to do is that she decided not to spoil who she is. That's to destroy herself. Mm -hmm. Because she's in that context, because she rightfully chose it, nobody forced mm -hmm. her into it. So, there's some women who will quit, others who quit, others who just be there, picture. They're just a picture. But you can get another, you know, they call them Gina, to. No, I don't, I don't want to go into that kind of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because that, I'm not in the second yeah, house. I'm so not no, in the second house. I don't mean those who are a part of the chief. That means somebody there will come and help. No, let me call it help. Mm, okay. <laughs> we we'll call it pompier. Mm. Well, it's, it, it sounds easy to mm. think that it's easier to find someone. Mm. But you know, generally these ladies are endowed with a lot of things. Yes, exactly. Yes, in quotes. They have a lot of things that surround them. So sometimes you, the man, might be put in trouble mm. by getting close to that extent. Mm. Even though we have some that still do that, mm -hmm. no, no trouble. But you can get into it and <laughs> you don't come up. Don't, don't come up. Okay. No, <laughs> Thank you. Right. Mariko has spoken like a woman this afternoon that she cannot. Mm -hmm. There is no way that she can. Okay. I'm coming back to you, Marie. Mm -hmm. Let me turn over to Miss B or Lady B. You know, Miss B is always uh, a bad, uh, 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 she's always for love. <laughs> she's well, always I'm for sure. true love yeah. of that be rest assured by that. she will always be and has always been for true love, true love. For true love can still be yeah. uh, mm. it's, it's possible okay true love can still be so Miss B can a woman be happy sharing a man with another woman you know I said I love this question so yeah, okay. because we ourselves we go at us you know examples test kits okay we, would you me, <laughs> I'll come and answer. Have trouble. Well, <laughs> me, you can try now. We do it. Mm. Please, 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 please. I'm going on a break. Zero magabo. We cannot go. Hey, that's what that what makes me, you know, to like the vision. Which woman will? The yeah, women will. It doesn't mean because they accepted to do polygamy. polygamy. It means the no woman. The truth is, no woman will want Not to share. Yes. So, it's, it's only conditions, circumstances, mm -hmm. motives, mm. reasons. 
I just and so I'll push people to to know who man wants. Who oh, should man not be happy, happy or, or having one, you know, man for herself? And if, for example, you said vice versa. For the men, even well, for the men, it's somehow different. Mm -hmm. Who should man will not be happy? women that we know? That's why I like the video because we are examples. We are I women. Will not, you okay. understand? Okay, I will wait. not be happy. <laughs> I'm still thinking. <laughs> Is that true? Is that true? Uh, so that's why I like the picture. See, Miss Bill. <clears throat> so people who get into polygamy, you, you tell me to be conditions or maybe they didn't have a choice. Maybe they grew, as Maricol said, they grew in a polygamous home. Good. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking to them mm -hmm. in terms of maybe they don't have a choice. No. I said it could be conditions, mm -hmm. circumstances, mm -hmm. situations, ideas, mm -hmm. backgrounds, mm -hmm. family kind of things. You know, even conditions. Mm -hmm. You must marry my daughter. When she goes, oh, because you owe my this, you understand? Mm -hmm. you owe, I'm all the man because I must marry this your daughter because you borrowed me something oh, and you have to pay back with her. Good. So, oh, the woman is going in because she has money. Then she knows what she wants in the man and so on. Maybe, you know, it could still be, you know, I love, you know, I love him, yes, but she has a reason why, you know, people have their, yeah, for somebody it could be a choice. Mm -hmm. So, to me, yeah, no woman will be happy sharing, you know, the husband with another. No woman will be bad. The fact that women sign it doesn't mean that it's because they, they want to share, it's because they want to know there are lots of things that I come along with too. Yeah. So as a woman, I will not be happy. Miss B says she will not be happy. And Miss B, will you put yourself now in the place of a man? The for violence. men, that's mm. why I already mm. said it for men, no. So men can be happy because naturally men were entitled to several women. Mm -hmm. They said they chose not to. But men don't like to share when it has to do with their women. Good, because they know that they were the only, you know, heroes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Entitled to so many women. Mm -hmm. And the women just had to. Yeah, that's why you see, even the polyhandry culture is not welcome in every country. No, it's not. But my problem is who made the law. You more immortals do make the, the human beings make the law yeah, speak. So, and my other problem is if men can be this, you know, uh, free in that domain, why should the human not? I didn't know human beings also. You see, so if the woman is capable of handling, but again, the problem is now you understand why it's not possible, it's not all about the law. Mm -hmm. Naturally, human cannot, the men can fit in mm -hmm. that con context. Context. A woman cannot, uh, cannot, but a man can. So, can a woman? <laughs> there are strong people and they don't want, in fact, they can share, but a woman can never. If you are a woman out there watching us, if you can be happy, share it right to us. Let's see how many you see. That's why I like it. <laughs> so, it's not possible for two men to share one woman? No, the men, two men. No culture who has said that. Besides, if I heard no, I don't. The, the not women, officially. It is not, it's not their thing mm. because they are the weaker mm. and they are for no. mm. But the men, it's possible. For it's women, it's not physically. Mm. Um, so even if they accept the polygamy, so on, it's yeah, just. There are lots of things that will come mm. into play. Mm -hmm. No. If men do polygamy with so many women, it's okay mm -hmm. for a woman or for women to be polyhandrous. It's, it's not possible. It's not possible. And so on. There are lots of things that come in play. Mm -hmm. We should prove that it's not for the woman. It's not for the woman. Those some women may tell you <laughs> that it, naturally, if we want to be honest, it's not for women. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Miss B. Miss B is that women, in fact, she's talking like a woman. Eh? There's not, like, she cannot, whether you go or wake up, she cannot accept. <laughs> And if there's small money, French, okay, there's small money. If there's small money, it can still it can be something else. That's what we're because saying. when you when you you shadow the women mm -hmm. such that everybody is comfortable, everybody has a car, mm -hmm. you okay. have your villa, so she's okay. going in because she knows she has her peace. Exactly. Her there you have your space. Nobody's mm -hmm. coming there to fetch you. What kills this polygamous thing is where. They have to be in a traditional setup <laughs> where you wake up in the morning, you have to cross a uh, woman A's mm. veranda, and she's like, Why did she cross my veranda? That's where the problem is. Making. Then the kids too have to be crossing over mm. and maybe going and peeing. They and have doing, to play together, or doing all sorts of things. And because these kids are even the same blood, the, the women would never see like they are the same blood mm -hmm. because when they have issues, the woman will be like, 
this one has the habit of always beating my child. Yes. And I'm sure it's the mother that has <laughs> yes, has engineered her to come come and be beating my kid and all of that. It's really easy. it's not easy, but there's another version of polygamy that can be accommodated. Okay. Yes. Another version that can be accommodated. Yes, that is financial stability. Oh, uh, I that. like that part. Mm. Where there is money, I, I am with that part. Oh, you know? <laughs> because the money thing permits everyone, everybody to have their space. Mm. That's my point. Mm -hmm. Because the other one is the poverty stricken Yeah, aggression. people, they live in the same house, you know, two different rooms. Yes. They have their room. Even yeah. though recently I listened to a polygamous man who is very wealthy, mm. but was decided not to do that. Okay. That's to, to separate the, the wives. And when he was asked why he, he does that, he said he wants his kids to grow knowing each other. Uh -uh. He wants unity, he wants solidarity amongst his women. So he wants that it should be a harmonious context. You know, the, the, mm -hmm. it's very correct, but I hope in that compound everybody has this, but they are still the same. They are still the same compound. <laughs> Okay, maybe you can make that somebody is in the no, first flat, the, the other thing. person is in the second flat. Yeah, Most of the time, it's in the big yard. What apartment? Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. They are still in the same corner, but different apartments. So fine. It must be even if. But if he's saying so, they're all around in one, you know, apartment. It's a problem. No, the husband has to come and sleep with you. When he's leaving your room, your house, <laughs> to go to his house, he has to pass through the first wife's house to go to his own house. It'll be like. <laughs> when they were passing, the other one to come to your own house. What were you doing? Y'all all signed the same mm -hmm. thing now. Why should you refuse? That's the problem now with you. Mm -hmm. No. Why should you? Okay. No, when they were skipping and come there, what does it mean? When you were signing for you, was it for you? <laughs> you Thank you very much, Miss B. Thank you, Marie. Call no, as a lady. Well, let me think. What could be my answer? I don't think I can. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, just give me the answer. Of <laughs> <laughs> she does not think she can. Mm. That's the ah, thing. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every woman will do this. You, you said that uh, after you said that it was polygamy. That's not Miss B. As I said, it's conditioning. You, know, you don't have a choice to do that. I don't think a woman will. Because consider that uh, you are maybe out with somebody. Miss your boo boo. Let me use Miss B's words. <laughs> You're out with your boo, and then you see him hanging out with somebody else. You know, maybe talking with another girl, and then you. The whole come to an end. Uh huh. I did. I did not. Better I will sign it and wonder that it is poor. Oh, for the women, they want to keep for themselves. It's uh -huh. different for the men, but for the women, I don't think it's possible. Uh -huh. Polyandry. Uh, oh, excuse me, Santiago. Yeah. But polyandry that we're talking about mm -hmm. here, like Miss V said rightly, there that it's not meant for women. Uh -huh. Our physiognomy will not even be uh -huh. able to bury. Even though in uh, Western countries they're already thinking of it. Wrong. Exactly. But I watched even a tape mm. where a lady has his two, in fact, her two wives. Mm. You know, it's, we are so used to saying his two wives mm -hmm. that he, he ha she has her two husbands. Mm. And I was just lost. It was in the Western world. I don't want to call the country here. But everyone who is watching can tell mm -hmm. what kind of country that can be coming from because Thank it's a country you. where they try mm. a lot of the awkward things. things. Yes. yes. So this lady was speaking and the journalist was so lost because his questions were like, how do you, f as, a as a woman, mm. how do you feel about mm. this? She said she just feels autonomous. Oh. Yes, that she just feels autonomous. She feels like she's on the top of this, of this whole thing because now she's authoritative. She's the one giving orders and she has to control these two men. And uh, God forgive me, you see the way the men looked. They look really miserable in their, in their mindset. Mm. So the polyhandry we thing, wish well. <laughs> really mm. wish her well because I call this one an African country, a tragedy. Uh, she's a traditionalist. She says she has a number of husbands. She says that they, 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 I don't know if the gods that tell her which man is supposed to be her husband. Thank you for bringing that. <laughs> Does she have kids with her? Yes, yeah, she has kids. She cannot have two kids with one man. One kid per husband. Man. Sure. This key go back to condition as Miss B said. So uh, for the question of today, uh, most women will not. As the other example that Mariko brought here, you know women generally when they're given a little bit of authority, they want to. But the truth is real women will like, not A woman who knows what she wants. Real women will, exactly. know, will not want to share. Please, you know, is it grandma? That's why I'm asking myself uh -uh. things. Is it grandma? The woman do all it's what they must do to keep. You know, sometimes <laughs> it's because they don't do what they must do to mm -hmm. keep. Do all what you must do to keep. 
Okay, do what all exactly. want. That's exactly. Do very everything. Important. Very, very important that point. Do everything that you must do to keep that man. Thank you, girl. If you don't yes. do it, because you, you don't will. do it, there are ah. guys out there who have ah. Ah, no, 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 guys, girls. There are <laughs> girls out there who, who have their eyes only on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, only on it, and they I are ready yeah, no, anytime, I mean. any day. To pick you uh, and, you know, and they take just, care of you. They spend uh, all their time studying how they will the do. Friends mm -hmm. You know, there is a problem. Eh? Most of all, it's not because these men want you know to be you know polygamous and things. Sometimes because some, some women too. Oh, I don't they they know, know. You understand? I remember the example we shared here. Yeah, Marico talked on somebody who signed polygamy mm -hmm. until today. He's never yes, he's never taken. Maybe he was scared that mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying, but. And was proven wrong because the human kept. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, That's she, true. And she's yeah. constantly fighting in uh, her uh, mind because good. you need to go inside her mind to see how she uh, fights to keep her man. Good. Because she knows that polygamy no, is waiting for her. The it's other a end. taboo for some women. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a taboo. Yeah, it's a taboo. Mm -hmm. Once we are already there, this one is not. It's good. no longer there. This has been a red lip, you oh. mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to all the grandmas out there who are still for their grandpas. Oh, yeah. I wish you. Yeah. And they put it on their list and they didn't thin their head. I she has, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you. Wearing their, their short trousers. I am <laughs> Thank you for the you question. Keep this afternoon. You keep dating until your last breath. There you keep your package well. Good afternoon you, uh, to you, Neba Terence, that is telling us is watching us. Good afternoon to you, you wherever you're watching us this afternoon. Meantime, let's go to something else because I've spoken too much. You said no. You just need to take care of yourself. No, well, the college of elders have said no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, I would not. <laughs> which woman will? Okay, which woman will? Yeah, I don't see oh. there's so many that will. Let's go to our business this afternoon. Mariko, we started with oranges. What do we do today? Cultivation. Okay. Yes, yeah. we'll talk about cultivation of oranges. Mm. As easy as ABC, mm. I'm sure. Yeah, uh, not easy as ABC. You know oh, what you think to yeah. be easy? For some people, it's not easy. <laughs> All right. But, well, I was thinking that you're going to play the game because you know you, you didn't fall. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. because if you said yes, I would have said there is a problem. Okay. Because <laughs> generally, when you look at oranges, you think that maybe it comes from somewhere. That's from space. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I don't know if you've had that feeling like me because when I was growing, I used to look at oranges and I'll ask myself, where are they groomed? Mm -hmm. Especially for some of us who grew up mostly in the grass field, mm -hmm. where those things you see them, but not on a very uh, regular. Yeah, occasion you don't see growing. it growing. Yeah, exactly, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. But in the northwest, in the southwest, the sorry, southwest. the littoral, it's easier for you to find some mm -hmm. of those things over there. Why? Because it's generally like an activity as well mm -hmm. over there. Like it's an activity, a cultural activity for some people. Mm -hmm. They have orchards. If you have had the opportunity to go into an orchard, mm -hmm. then you would see. Like I remember the first time I ever visited an orchard was in Bali. In uh, one of my friends, one of our classmates, mm -hmm. the father's orchard. And I bet you were lost inside that orchard because we found lots and lots of different types of fruits. Fruits, mm -hmm. yes. That you've never even maybe come across. That one might even just leave this world without having the opportunity mm -hmm. to taste mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. But grooming um, oranges, Santia B, what was particular about mm. what I saw there mm. was that the tree stands really tall and hard, like a pear tree. Okay. The yes. tree that's really yes. you know, has a big... If you've ever seen a pear tree, mm. yes, then you will see that orange tree is generally, it also looks like a pear tree. And the only difference is that it can go taller than a certain level. level. Mm -hmm. And after some years, it doesn't produce anymore. In fact, it produces, but it's no longer of good quality. Okay. Yes, you know, as the years go by, it downgrades. The grade, the grade of the fruit downgrades mm -hmm. too. It's the same with many food crops, mm -hmm. many other foods and fruits even. Now, talking about the seedlings of um, oranges. When you eat oranges, in fact, when you suck, because you generally suck them, when you suck your oranges and you get the seeds, those seeds that come out mm -hmm. of there, they can actually germinate. Okay, the seeds. Yes. You know, we throw the seeds anyway. Absolutely. They can actually germinate, Santia B, mm. but it's not all that can germinate. Uh -uh. Yes, because you know, the, the, the way um, oranges are conserved, they are, they are preserved, mm. it doesn't permit some seeds to still to come out okay. Okay. Because they've stayed for too long, they've fermented, 
they've had time to get ripe. You know, these seeds are generally inside the mm -hmm. liquid that we, we consume. So they stay there, and by the time they are coming out, they no longer have the capacity of germinating. Okay. But you can be lucky to have one that germinates. Mm -hmm. Let me take an example. If you cannot be able to get your seeds from your normal fruit, mm -hmm. then go to those who are into seedlings. Mm -hmm. I always say this because sometimes we might just want to go our own way, mm -hmm. but we don't find a solution. That's true. So it's good to go towards those who are into farming and particularly seedlings. Here in Bafusam, I've always said it, that there is a place around Mashebe yes. where you're going up on the main street. These people occupy a very big lane like that. You see it, it looks like a small forest in the town. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're always <laughs> seated by. And they have small sacks that are like uh, papers. Yes, these plastic dark bags. Papers, yes. yes. And uh, they stand there. Inside there, they've groomed a lot of seedlings. Some have even plums, uh, plum seedlings and orange seedlings. So if you go there, tell them. But before going, so it's always good to know the different types that exist mm -hmm. because there are many types of seedlings that exist. You can find um, oranges that are really small, like we we're describing. Mm -hmm. Some are small, like the Botanese balls. Mm -hmm. Others are just moderate in size. Others mm -hmm. are very big, like grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. So just check on these different types. After you are done and you are sure of what you are looking for, now you go meet them, and they will tell you. Most of the times they sell. Like one sack mm -hmm. of those, they will sell it for say uh, 500 francs upwards. Okay. Yes, it always ranges from 500 francs upwards. Now you need to transport in order to like plant them. Yes, transplant in your yes, farm. Yes, in your farm. So you have to be careful the way you carry them along. And then when you, you the place where you have to cultivate or to plant this, mm. check to be sure. That it's like maybe your land forever. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's good to do it on the land that yeah. is yours, yours. forever. Mm -hmm. So you do it on your, you, maybe your land that you bought. Or maybe in your own garden at home. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But make sure when you're planting this, don't plant it closer to a fence. Okay. Yes, like a fence that has been built out of cement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? Because, Santiago, the roots of this uh, uh, orange fruit, would go inside and break your wall. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's very heavy as as it is. It might look small in your eyes, but as it grows, it can occupy a lot of space. So watch out on that. Now, uh, once you're done, that is what you when you're you're planting, you have to plant it with a sack. Mm -hmm. Yes, with a sack. But the ground is inside the sack. Mm -hmm. As time goes on, the sack will just die. Mm -hmm. It will live mm -hmm. naturally. Yes. And it can stay for as many years as possible. as possible. But make sure you just always um, water it. Try to when it's still close. very young. Yes, when it's still young. And make sure you don't bring it closer to any other fruit like it. Mm -hmm. Like let me say Plum, um, plums, uh, plums or, or mangoes. Pears or mangoes mm -hmm. exactly. So that's it. You once you've already planted your orange tree, you, your orange. Um, yes, you can. When, once you planted your orange, you can be sure that. Once it's done, you can stay for as long as possible. You just be continue. I was thinking that uh, is there something like you no know, when you eat plums, mm -hmm. you can just throw the seeds anywhere before you know it, the thing has grown. Mm -hmm. But this one that I have to select particular seeds like that, mm -hmm. that's where it becomes really complicated to mm -hmm. do. It is other than bothering yourself that today you plant this seedling does not go, this other one does not go. Mm -hmm. Why not opt the one that Mariko gets this afternoon? Just go uh, in the town of Bath of Bath. Some days just stick here at Mashi Bay there or at the Palace Justice there. I know that they sell those things there. You can possibly get people or uh, who sell this uh, the place at Palais Justice you know it no longer exists. It's just Mashibi. You're very right there, Marico. So mm. go to Mashibi and you get yeah. some uh, as, as <laughs> really to, to yeah. send that one yeah. elsewhere. So you can get the seedlings that you want. Thank you, Marico, for that yeah. business strategies this afternoon, how to do with oranges. If you want to have oranges all the time. Back in the southwest there when you want to buy oranges, you just come and say I want to buy your tree. That means for that year when it produces, they just come and buy the tree. And when it gets ripe, and they come and take, they come and take, they come and take. Thank you, Michael, for bringing up the it's Southwest as one of the places where this thing is highly, very sweet. yeah, very sweet, highly consumed. Miss mm. B can say a uh, part of that. She is seeing as a doctor. Miss B can affirm that. So, Miss B, uh, it's a bang, 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Black soup from pounded cocoyam.
people. We come back to it because we really did not have the images yesterday. That's right. Then, so we said uh, today we will see if we can have it. Okay. But what we we'll need, we we'll need cocoa yam leaves, we we'll need cocoa yam, we we'll need jansa, we we'll need, you know, about every traditional, that's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. every traditional, even, you know, some people cook with some coffee, like this, this. You know, every traditional spice that okay. you know, put it there. Okay, so mm -hmm. we blend the Jansa, 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 pepper, maybe we'll call it, you know, bush pepper, white pepper, mm -hmm. kate, kote. There is also that stick that you can put. There's a small stick that, in fact, every it's like a mm -hmm. match. Good country on your, even that. Every, tra every traditional spice. That's one wow. thing about this stuff. Mm. And mind you, oh, it's, it's so so ordinary. In fact, eat this for one week. Just do the soup and drink. You know, come back tell us the result. Mm -hmm. It's very good for the health. So we get cocoa to wash them like they are there. Um, okay, we, we we keep them aside. We blend the cocoa leaves. Mm. Now we said in those days our mothers will wash well and time and plantain leaves. Mm. And then, when they turn on the plantain, they the place on the cocoa yams. But yeah. today there are blenders. Some will pound. In fact, those in the So you must boil before you do that, Miss You must boil. Why do we boil? Because we kill some of the, the itching nature of the cocoa yams. Okay. So the cocoa yam leaf. As it be. You see that particular cocoa yam leaf? It's good. See? So we fix it well, we boil. Do we and use the, the, the stems? To, no, just the leaves. Okay. Just the leaves. Just the leaves. Good. Just the leaves. So we, I said it is that good. I would like to always boil with a pinch of salt. Mm. That's it when we boil. Now you can pound. Some okay. people pound. Others will, you know, use the hand mill. Mm. Others will uh, blend. Others will just, you know, uh, use the stone. I thought you said that the hand mill. And after that, you mix like that. Mm -hmm. so you put, you know, fat. Uh, your if it's the smoke meat, you put it at that point and why? Because you no know, smoke meat is very hard. Mm -hmm. Good. Smoke fish, but we said anything smoke is the best. Those are some of the spices. Good. These are the spices. Mm -hmm. The wrong them. All of them. So we arrange all of them. Good. We put a part of it inside, you know, the pot. So we put it on the fire when it starts boiling. The cocoa yam leaves and your smoke meat. When it starts going down, we add now the spices. No, you add the spices when it's Good. boiling. But now, for some other person who's not using smoke meat, you can. This is pork. Yes. You can, you know, season the pork and put it again. Miss B, the pork has oil. No, it's okay. That's why we don't even put oil there. Okay. It's not even a meal that needs oil. But with the pork now, if you don't want to season the pork like we had there, you can just put it directly and spray. I will put directly because it's not hard. Mm -hmm. And mix the cocoa meat and every other spice. So these are various, you know, uh, meats you can use if we see. If you can lay hands on crabs, fine. If you can lay yeah. hands on crayfish, fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You put it or in. combo meat. Fine. This is smooth fish and so on. <laughs> so what do we do? You put it on the fire when it starts boiling. Get mm. your pinch of salt, mm -hmm. maggi, and all your spices and cook it well. Mind you, it will not take too long because mm. you already boiled it. But that's the bed, that's the black soup. Now it's in colors, depending on how you mm -hmm. made it. Yeah, it's depending on the spices that you and put. The spice it. That's thing. very correct. Now, this is for four, it's not gary. It's, it's very smooth. smooth. It is. But again, you can still consume with gary if you want. Mm -hmm. Wow. Choose the pounded cocoa yam. Got it. Mm. What about water? It's, it's the same, but the pounded cocoa yam is the reaping of it. Okay. This is anything swallowing you can go. Mm. Mm. Pounded rice, so before rice, yes. I remember my sister talking about it uh, recently. Okay, she's already in that saga. Yeah, she's already in the where saga. <laughs> you know, when you get somewhere, you have to... <laughs> so you do the, you know. She said the people, they love it so much. Good mm, afternoon to the population of Ndum. Good. They, those yeah. who are watching us, I know they are receiving us there. Good. And I know that they love this meal so much too. Thank you very much, Miss B. Uh, it's a discovery for so many people. Marikol, have you ever tasted? Not yet, but I'm hoping to. Without combo meat, no. <laughs> <The crab. laughs> 
I'm afraid that the fans, <laughs> the fans of the fans. No, she's like I've just done my subtraction yeah. in a very quiet way. Yeah, very it? softy manner. <laughs> Miss B has given me a lot of alternatives there as B. So I already situated yeah, my meat, which is the fat okay. fish. That fish. Mm, that that fish. was by the side. Yes. Yes. That's All meat or pork. <laughs> if it's Congo yes, pork, meat. Yeah. Yeah. If pork, Congo meat or crab. Voila. That's ideal Miss B. With Congo meat too is good. <laughs> I knew that she was going to change her. <laughs> the problem here is Congo meat, so sometimes tasteless. So if you don't cook it for okay, for the young people, you know, understand it in Eru. <laughs> How it goes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Miss B, they love it so much in Eru. You know, even in a goosey soup. Well, thing. that's one of the, you know, meats. <coughs> if you don't spice well, you okay. can eat it. <laughs> you don't spice no, so you can't really eat it. That's true. Blue nature is not there. If you don't spice it, well, that's true. Really, it doesn't have a natural taste. Mm -hmm. Like the pork, you just throw it and put salt, the pork will give you taste. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, 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 the cow meat, you throw it, they put salt, it will give you taste. But the Congo meat, okay. Thank you very much, Miss B, for Kwan Kwan and Isuba this afternoon. For all those who are from Mani, uh, Kupi Maningumba, good afternoon to you. I know that you love this meal so much. It is even part of you. So we want to be part of you too. We want to taste this meal to know how it tastes in the mouth. For those who have just gotten themselves to develop the culture of eating this meal, I hope that you love it. I know you can have plums to eat what you want to eat. It is extremely great. Okay, uh, let's talk a little on our health before we go out of this. We're just one minute uh, to go out. Who is at risk of getting a hoarseness, a hoarse voice? Anyone at any age can experience a bad voice. These symptoms is most common in people who smoke and also use their voices professionally, like teachers, sing. Okay, <laughs> Miss Bias, put herself in front. <laughs> Singers and sales yeah, representatives. Okay, okay. It, it, they, uh, but remember that uh, having a bad voice is not a sign of any heart problem.